What I really like the most about the Grobes is uh, horizontal spindle. They have a lot of uh, other unique features that are totally different than other five axis pieces of equipment that we actually run here in the shop as well. The speed of them is phenomenal. The Siemens control really sets them apart. This particular machine, we basically have dedicated to three different jobs. Each one of those jobs roughly runs, the highest one's about 120 tools in it, and then we've got some 60s, and then a, probably another 90 there as well. And what that allows us to do is to keep all the tools set up at one time in this machine, so that it's totally a production lights out machine. On our Grobes, we're primarily aluminum. 90% of our work here is aerospace as well. Grobes one and two are a 16K spindle. Our Grobe three is also a 16K spindle. We do most of our hard metal work in that particular machine. The other two are 30K spindles. Our Grobe six down there is one size bigger. It's a G750. The G750 has a spindle in it that is a little bit bigger. Our G750 is an HSK100. The RPM range on that is 14.5. The reason that we went with the 14.5 is so that we had the versatility to do hard metal or aluminum in there as well. That the degrees of rotation that we have up in the B axis, what that does is that allows us to multi-populate on each one of our pallets. Well, we're not typically running the same part on each pallet face. We could be running different parts on each pallet face. Sheer size of the 630 millimeter pallet it just allows us to be more versatile. The other thing that we do very, very well on the Groves that is extremely unique from our other machines is the probing. So we do a lot of in-process probing here on our parts. We even have gotten to the point to where we're, with the probes, able to measure bore diameters and perhaps even comp tools in and out and a lot of other features in there too, floor thicknesses, web thicknesses, everything that's pretty unique to uh, aerospace. With the broken dual detection on our grubs, the tool um, will change from the spindle into the uh, tool arm itself, and it'll check for broken tool detection there. Versus our other pieces of equipment, that takes a lot of time to go over there and check for broken tool every single time. I mean, we're talking probably 30 seconds, and the grobe here is absolutely zero time. One of the most important things to us in the use of the grobe equipment is to set us apart from our competition. It is so efficient and so accurate that it gives us a competitive edge in the industry and allows us to provide precision parts that other manufacturers may not be able to do. Machine Tools Northwest is the distributor in our area for Grobe machines, and that's how we were put in contact with Vince Selweck, which plays a really crucial part there with Grobe as well, just because of the pure relationship that we've had throughout the years with Vince. Heinz and Helen started Neumeyer Engineering in 1957. Kind of a cool background. My grandfather, Pat Selway, actually sold Heinz and Helen their first CNC machine. Carrying on the relationship to my father, Vince Selway, who has sold them many machines as well, now leading to the Grobe. Grobe is our flagship. That is a very unique machine, very solution-based. So getting that knowledge, learning how to look at someone's processes and parts, and things of that nature, address the part and the issues that they might be having and running into, addressing those and then putting that into a grobe to find the solutions and say, okay, if we took that part and did it on grobe, due to the rotation, you can actually do it in less ops and flip it around. And due to the horizontal spindles, you're not gonna have the chip recutting, you're not gonna have the heat issue. When we first got our grobe, as you can see now, we have a total of six of them. So after the first one, we really recognized what the differences were between the groves and our other equipment as well. We're very grateful to, to have the relationship with Machine Tools Northwest and Grove, and we uh, look forward to continuing it in the future.